The new MacBook Air 2020 is equipped with Apple's own bone processor by default. But there are two GPU versions with 7 or 8 cores. Our experts have tested both units in our editorial office and compared the two GPU. The comparison is briefly provided in this video. Let's check it out. Synthetic benchmarks, the results of the two versions are usually very close to each other and we rarely see a difference of more than 10%. We have also included the results of the current MacBook Pro 16 with the Radeon 5500M, which is still faster. But the differences are not huge, considering that the MON chip inside the MacBook Air is completely passively cool. These results are very impressive. The new 14 chip in the Apple iPad Air 2020 on the other hand is clearly beaten by the MON chip. Gaming performance, the results between the two models are very close in the more demanding quality presets. The comparison with the rivals is much more interesting. For starters, the old MacBook Pro 15 with the 560X is hardly any faster, and both the NVIDIA GeForce MX350 as well as the Intel Z Graphics 96U from the current Tiger Lake chips are clearly beaten in higher quality settings. The performance of the MON GPU is surprisingly stable in a first stress test, but we want to perform more benchmarks before we can give our final verdict on this topic. We will also test more games with the new MON chip for our final review. First impressions, our initial tests clearly show that Apple's new MON chip offers a significant performance improvement over the old MacBook Air powered by Intel CPU. The annoying chassis fan is finally gone as well, so the new MacBook Air is a completely silent device. It is also the only MacBook with dedicated function keys and no touch bar. The choice of the GPU or the number of cores does not really matter to be honest. It really depends on the storage you want. If 256 GB is sufficient for you, then you can go ahead and get the entry-level SKU with 7 GPU cores. If you prefer 512 GB, however, you can upgrade the entry-level SKU, but it would make more sense just to get the more expensive unit with the 8-core GPU instead. Now it's your turn. Which one impresses you the most? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, do share and subscribe to our channel for further video notifications.